Today, I'm going to show you guys how to design a leaderboard UI inside of Roblox Studio. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys how to design an in-game leaderboard. Uh, if you guys have not seen the player list video, uh, it is also up on our channel. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to start by activating my UI tools uh, right here. Alright, so we're going to add a screen to UI. We're going to call this leaderboard. We're going to add a frame. We're going to call this a canvas. We're going to go fit parent. Uh, set anchor. And remove the background. We need scale. Alright, so now uh, we're going to add a new frame. We're going to go set anchor. And we're gonna figure out how we should, how we're gonna make this. Um, now, there are two ways for a leaderboard. Well, two ways you can do the layout. You can have, you can have it side by side. So, um, for example, team A on this side, and then, oops, <laughs> team B on this side, or you can have it uh, vertical. So, team A and team B like this. Okay. All right, I hope you guys get uh, the point I am trying to drive across. Um, so yeah, let's think how we should make this. Um, actually, let me go ahead and go to canvas. I'm going to make the uh, transparency like 0 0.3. I'm going to make this black. All right, so obviously this is going to depend on the player capacity of your game uh, vertically would be better for you know a smaller capacity but uh if you're gonna go for like let's say over eight players or so for each team you're gonna want to go for a horizontal leaderboard so let's just go ahead and make our oops our basic background container so we'll call this container right here all right so i'm going to make this red and also uh, lower the opacity so we're going to contain our leaderboard UI inside of this red bounding frame um, so now I'm gonna add a frame this will be our main title and I'm gonna go fit parent I'm going to lower the uh, vertical sizing the Y going to add a corner like so uh probably like point two i think this will be our basic title our map uh, name timer is going to go here if you want to add that kind of information uh we can add a gradient for the same we'll go for like negative 90 make this gray like so something like this nothing too fancy and now we're gonna add a frame this will be our list so i'm gonna go fit parent go anchor oops okay so with some spacing like right here this will be our list i'm gonna go uh, lower the opacity again i'm gonna add a ui list layout change from uh, vertical to horizontal and inside of here we're going to we're gonna add a frame this is going to be our red team we'll set anchor and also fit parent uh, for the layout we're going to go for horizontal line by the center now basically we're gonna well actually let's go forward left side we're going to find the Go 0.5 for the size, and then we're also gonna go uh, Control D to copy. This will be our blue side. However, the point of this is so we can adjust the uh, sizing. Uh, so let's go adjust the padding 0.02, trying to get the proportions correct before before we continue. So we go center and let's just try and adjust these uh, want some more padding so like 0 0.015 it's not 
too bad. Uh, seven, perhaps. All right, so let's work on this one. Same thing. This is only so we can see, basically. I'm gonna add a frame. This is going to be our, we're just gonna call this title once more. Fit parent, bring this up like this. I'm going to copy the corner, paste. All right, I'm gonna add a gradient uh, inside of this title frame. And we're going to make this red. I'm trying to go for a nice color scheme here. Don't want anything uh, too bright. Uh, something pleasing. It's like this, maybe. All right, let's add some text. So, boom, text label, text scale right here. Background off. We go for color white. Change the font, and now uh, we type our red theme, like so. Right over here, we copy the text over the line by the right side, and this is going to be the score. So like 35, place it right here. Okay, and now, uh, hmm, we copy the title. This will be the info, info label, for example. Yeah. I'm going to move this down right here. And for this thing, I'm going to change the gradient. Oops. Okay. We go for like a, we'll see. Light to a lighter shade. Like this right here. And for this thing, um, for our text, we go center inside of the info label. We're going to add a UI list layout. We go for vertical align by the center. And here we're going to type things like level, for example, and you will see why uh, in a second. So we have level, we're going to copy. I'm gonna change this to fill horizontal, level, name, for example, extend this thing, and we have kills, uh, your basic stat information, and uh, I suppose ping for the last one, um, perhaps line by the right side, so we have it kind of like this. This is uh, good enough. All right, we can add some padding, UI padding for the left side, 0 0.02. All right, that is fine. Okay, I'm gonna make sure all these are scaled. And now basically, we're going to add a new frame. This is going to be our um, player list, essentially. This is gonna be size accordingly and we're gonna add a UI list inside of this thing and we're gonna copy the info label I'm going to hit control C I'm gonna hit control D to copy duplicate I'm gonna go offset I'm gonna hit control X and control shift V to paste in here now we have this uh, level we can type out our info, so like 50, like you know, 14, oops, 14, name, put name, kills, we can hide this thing, uh, let's go for scale, so here, we can name this template, and we can copy this, alright, add some padding, boom, Keep copying until we are satisfied. Okay, so this is what we have uh, so far. And basically, 
uh, let's hide the background. Background off, background off. And now we can copy the red. This will be our blue. Now obviously we can change the color inside of its gradient right here. So let's go for a blue. Like so. Here it is our blue team blue team and uh, for our title bar we're gonna add some basic text like team deathmatch for example we can also have the timer like uh, 50 seconds and here we can have the server region can be California all right so let's take a look this right here is our leaderboard as you can see um it might look better if we make the list visible make this like dark for example and if we add like a corner perhaps to this right here like 0.1 no <laughs> that's far too much 0.05 Zero five, and we add some padding. I think this would look a lot better. All right, so here is our finished product. Uh, I think we have done just fine for the time that we have. Uh, for you know how quick this was to make. So yeah, as you can see, it scales just fine. It looks pretty good as well. Obviously, this is not the most visually you know appealing or you know aesthetically pleasing uh ui if you guys check out uh the previous videos i do have videos you know with some more fancy effects anyways i hope you guys enjoyed uh check out our store and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video